Lion Cub Acrylic Painting Time Lapse and Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Paper. Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a really cute little lion painting that goes with my other little baby animals in this little series I'm doing. So there's five total, and this is the fourth one. So in the past there was an elephant, a zebra, and a giraffe, and there are links to all of those in the description box below. And when that last one is uploaded, there will be a link to that one down there as well. So check all those if you have missed any of them, or if you're seeing if that other last one has been uploaded. I hope you like this painting, and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So to start with, I already have my design, or my painting, my little, my little lion sketched out on the canvas, and I'm going to begin with two coats of a very pale pink. Um, if you don't want to do this, you don't want the pinks, obviously you could do a background that was uh, a safari or a savanna, that would that would work out as well. So I actually started with the tail and so to do the entire body and tail I did very out of focus very soft soft lines. The when, so to start on the body then just apply a layer of kind of a I don't know like a beigey beigey warm color and then with a round brush and a lighter color white or a cream or a ivory or something like that add in the highlights and then with a darker color either darker brown or charcoal add in the low lights and just do kind of a dabbing motion with these colors to get that fur texture in there and blend those in together as you're doing this try not to i'm a i definitely do this myself um try not to over detail it don't worry too much if it looks like individual fur hairs or anything like that keep it soft keep it simple because if you do it that way it's going to bring all of the focus into your lion's face which you will have a much uh, much more focus on much more uh, detail in and that will just kind of draw the eye there and make it so that the body isn't quite as important as far as what you're looking at so then to start his face i'm going to begin with his mouth so i'm going to be adding he's got you can see his lips a little bit of like the gums that are inside and then his nose and between their they have a split lip so between their nose and their mouth there's a little thin charcoal dark gray line and so then i'm going to be doing the two sections of his face to start with that are kind of behind so there's one ear since his head is tilted that is what i'm going to call behind and then his chin i'm also going to take and this is just the first layer of paint over his face i'm going to be adding all of the different color color sections not only are you working on the highlights and the shadows and the contours of the face there's also different fur colors ever so slightly so the bridge of the nose is a little bit darker, but then there's also these lighter patches around the eyes, kind of going up almost like eyebrows, and then on the cheeks are the cheeks are lighter, as well as just the sides of the jaw. And then they've also got those dark spots for where their whiskers are. So you kind of have to work on both the contours of the face as well as the different color patterns, which are all very subtle. There's not much of a different difference in there, but there is a little bit, so don't don't ignore that and then add the last ear which is the thing that's the closest or that's the farther out that's the most on top if you want to think about it that way the ear that's facing outwards is facing towards the camera you can see in a little bit more and you can get that darkness on the other ear because it's tilted away it's pretty much all masked by the fur so you don't see that really dark the dark deep into the ear appearance so then I took with light colors um, and the fur colors, I'm going to add the texture on the chin and the texture on that ear, like I said, that are behind. So start with those and do really fine. Add lots of fur texture. I love painting fur texture. I think it's something that's very, very calming. There's something very, I don't know, it's almost like a meditation for me. So just, it's all these little lines, almost like pointillism in it. Instead of doing little dots, you're doing little lines. But add all of your fur texture. On the face, I started with a very light cream or an ivory color, and I added the fur texture. Now, this is a color that I used for the most part across the entire face, but I'm going to start in the lightest areas and add those in to begin with. So this is, like I said before, around the eyes, a little bit on the nose, and then on the cheeks, and right around the whiskers is going to have this light, light color. So start with that. And when you're doing this, like I said, this is the color that's used on most of the face. As you go back through later and fill in the areas that are missing, that need more fur texture later, the color that you added bef um, before that dark color will show through and you will still get all of those different color, color values and the different colors, but the top detail lines are going to pretty much all be in that lighter cream color because they really show up really nicely. Then with a brown, it's not a super dark brown though, but with brown, I'm going to be adding the little spots that are on your lion's head. Now there aren't that many spots and they're not definite circles and they start right about between the eyes, really small little lines, little fur texture lines, and they go up and there's a lot of that color and a lot of spots on the forehead. 
and then use that same brown as well in some of the darker areas on like the sides of the face and then take some charcoal or some darker gray and add a couple little defining lines within that brown just to darken it up and richen it and you don't do too much of that don't overdo that because these spots aren't like like I said they're not like spot spots like a cheetah they're just little little dark texture spots on the lion's head and then go back with that cream ivory color and fill in all the spaces like I said before so just kind of go in and the reason you don't want to do this from the beginning is because there's a lot of space on here that did have darker colors on that you didn't want the ivory so you don't want to fill in everything with that I just kind of like to get a start on it before but go through and fill in all the other areas and on the areas of the lion's face that are super super light are, are right beneath the eyes and some on the cheeks there's going to be um, some white lines, just a couple little white highlights in there to make sure that that area stays nice and bright. So then you're going to want to add all of the fur texture on the other ear. Make sure that lions, lion cubs have super fluffy ears. They have a definite, almost like a little teddy bear ears is kind of what I think of. So you want to make sure that the outside edge of the ear has a lot of fur texture on it and doesn't have a smooth line. You want it to look like it's nice and fluffy. So then for the last thing you're going to need to be doing your lion's eyes. It's actually not quite the last thing. Yeah with the whiskers are the last but add the eyes they've got their little eyeliner is what I like to think of cats I think cats have eyeliner with dark gray and um, some highlights with white and black and then add the eyes with a very rich warm caramely brown add the highlights with white I also like to add just a little bit of pink in the reflections on the eyes because I think that that makes it look like there's actually pink like he's in a pink room so you can see the pink in the eyes and then add the nice long whiskers you also want to add some eyelashes with black around his eyes but then add the whiskers and the little eyebrow hairs that stick up I think on a cat the whiskers are the defining feature they're the they're the most important part to me I love adding those long white whiskers on a kitten of any size so I hope you guys like this video and please check out my Facebook and Instagram for more of my art and I will see you in my next video